Hello everybody and welcome to Susie B Living's Gardening by the Moon series. So we are at the end of March this coming week. Um, we're going into the Easter weekend next weekend and I will be getting my What I Am Sewing in April video out to you this coming week. Um, so it's all very exciting. I have more or less finished my nearly finished my sewings for March. Um, I've got a few things left which I will go through you, with you now. Um, I'm going to cover Monday the 25th of March until Wednesday the 27th of March. Remember I break my week into two into two now and even though we are only going to cover one moon phase day uh, I'm still going to keep it broken up into two. So Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday this coming week are all roots days on the moon phase calendar. Tomorrow night is, or tomorrow is uh, full moon. It is absolutely beautiful out there at the moment. And um, it's, so it's full moon and then all the energy starts pulling it down into the ground. And that's why we've got roots coming up. So when I say roots, I mean anything that grows under the ground that is a root that we eat. So not plants that have roots, but the roots that we eat and we consume. Anything from, of course, potatoes, carrots, radish, turnips, parsnips, um, Jerusalem artichoke, all that type of thing. So they're the roots that I'm talking about when I say it's roots day on the moon phase calendar. So for those three days, the only sowing that I will be doing is some more carrots. I'm going to uh, sow up a few more tubs and a few more troughs of carrots for my greenhouse. And I'm going to do my first sowing of my summer carrots and they're a different variety to the other ones. So the ones that I'm going to do in my troughs and my tubs are the early nont that I've mentioned before, the early nont too, and um, also a one called mokum. They're, they're going to go in my tubs and then I have one for the ground that I, I'm thinking this year that I'm going to put some carrots in a raised bed this year. I have to make a really good cover for um, carrot fly because I do get carrot fly here. Uh, and um, there are a few summer varieties that I like, but one in particular that I do like is called sugar snacks. It's um, long and thin and absolutely delicious. And I'm going to try them in my raised bed. So I will be sowing them. When I sow them, I'm going to cover them in fleece, first of all, to get them germinated and get them, keep the warmth in. And so that's what I'm going to be doing carrots. The other thing that I am going to be sowing is my continuation of my early potatoes. Um, I'm not quite finished sowing my early potatoes yet and I'm not, not until next month, April, am I going to st sow them into the big pots direct. I'm still sowing them in um, one litre pots and because they get going really, really quickly and then I transplant them into the bigger pots. I'm going to be doing, um, I've, I've got a few Swift left uh, and I've got a few Jazzy left as well. Um, and I think I might have two Charlotte left. So I'll put them all in into one litre pots and put them in the greenhouse and let them grow really fast. Now we come to my transplanting. I have pots already in the um, big greenhouse with uh some new potatoes in that have sprouted and I then now transplant them into their bigger containers. Keep them in the in the greenhouse for the moment. The ones that I've got in there are doing really well um, and yeah keep them going in there and then when the weather gets better I can start moving them outside because I'm going to need the room in the greenhouse for other things. Um, transplanting, I've got some radish as well, a tray of radish that I'm just <laughs> slow slowly taking out of the cells and, and sticking in the ground or sticking in the veggie pod because that's where I do my radish. 
Um, and so that will be, I have to get this over and done with, with the radish. So that will be all done. Um, I've got a few shallots over still in the greenhouse on the allotment. Uh, and they are ready now. I waited for them to actually sprout from the top. They're ready now to go into the ground, so they will go in the ground. And I also put some salad onions or spring onions ready at the moment that could go um, here at home and also over at the allotment in the greenhouse. I've lost two lettuce over there, so I've got a little bit of room. So I think I'm going to put these... Um, spring onions over there. They're the red ones. These are the Lilia and the North Holland Blood Red. They did really well in the greenhouse last year over there. So I will put them in, in over there as well. And that's my transplanting. Um, weeding and maintenance. Uh, so let's think about the roots that I've got. I have got my onion and my shallot bed over the road. That looks pretty good at the moment. Uh, it might, now this is going to sound weird, but it might need a water. <laughs> it's just, oh, well, when I went over today, it was windy today. I went over today to check things and I thought, ooh, I must have a little bit of a dig around when it's roots day in this bed because it does look a little bit dry on top because the wind just dries everything out. But anyhow, I will have a look at those. Um, the other thing, when I'm here at home, I have got spring onions in a bed. They're starting, they were really rubbish and you're not going to believe this, but um, I did swear last year that I would never be without spring onions. I said that and it's on video and you've got the video there on YouTube um, where I said I would never be without spring onions again. Well, I'm without spring onions because, and I'm not going to blame me actually, um, oh, I've had such a problem with um, slugs and snails I don't know, are they so hungry this year that they really need to eat all my spring onions? But I do have one, well, I've got one and a, one and a little bit beds out in the um, kitchen garden. Um, they're, they're okay. They're starting to get a little bit thicker, so I think they should be okay. I've just got to go in there and weed around them a little bit and just check them out. I also fed them. I gave them a little bit of a nitrogen feed as well. When I was feeding my garlic, I fed them as well. And that's my next thing, garlic. So I have my garlic completely netted because of Allium leaf miner. So um, on root stays, it gives me a really good chance to open it up and just have a look and see what the garlic's doing. But if you remember, I did... Um, feed my garlic because it was getting yellow leaves and it was only because it had been sitting in the ground since October and it was just a little bit nitrogen deficient. So um, I fed it and all the new leaves coming through look really, really good. I just got to go and check it and I know one bed needs a little bit of a weed and it gives me a chance to just get in and have a look. Um, that's my garlic. The leeks are still good. The leeks are still going. I'm just harvesting them when I need them, as and when I need them. I'm going to need the bed pretty soon. So I think I'll, I will continue harvesting and we'll do some leek dishes this week. Uh, and I also, the other thing that I do really have to harvest is the rest of my winter radish. So I've still got some mooley radish. Um, and so I really have to harvest those because they need to come out of the veggie pod. Um, they're going to, they're starting to go to seed. Uh, and the other radish just isn't ready yet, which is a little bit unfortunate, but it doesn't matter. And the other one and the other weeding and maintenance are my potatoes in the greenhouse. So that is it. And then, like I said, watering and feeding. I don't think anything really needs a feed at the moment. The garlic is good. Uh, and but just remember, if you do have overwintered onions and garlic, they are very hungry. Alliums are very hungry, so you might need to give them a feed of some sort. And get yourself some, get yourself a nice high nitrogen feed. You can do things like chicken pellets. Um, I've got a feed that's specifically for alliums. Uh, and you can do a little bit of blood, fish and bone if you want to, or, you know, something like that. And they will really, really appreciate it. So that is it. That's Monday to Wednesday. I will see you on Wednesday night to talk about the rest of the week. And I hope you have a good few days and I hope the weather is kind to you as well. I hope the weather is kind to me. It was beautiful this evening, but the, the morning this morning was freezing. 
Okay, so I'm Susie B from Susie B Living. Um, hit the subscribe button and then you will get my updates twice a week. And also I do a gardening vlog that comes out on a Saturday evening as well. So you'll be able to see what I get up to. If there's anything in particular you want me to um, video, let me know. I've got two videos that I've been asked for um, that I am getting out this week. One is on an update of my Daphne. If you go back, you can see my Daphne um, video. And the other one that is coming out this week is about the veggie pod because I've had lots and lots of questions about that. So I will see you later. Bye.